Anderson also called for a re-examination of the current policy related to pat-downs of certain students. He says a pat-down can be intrusive and distressing, especially for students of color. Tonight, we're following up, looking at new data detailing the number of pat-downs in DPS schools. As Denver 7 Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski found, schools are not sharing these numbers with parents or district administrators. We continue to follow breaking news. At 10 o'clock, the school was placed on lockdown. A day that triggered fear for students, parents, and administrators. We do know today is that a male student who was under certain um, agreement uh, to be patted down each day here at East High School, uh, shot and injured two staff members at East. A day that also sparked the question how many other students in the Denver Public School District are required to pass a daily pat down before entering classrooms. How should the district react to the numbers we found? I think they should be pretty concerned and I, I don't think they are. Alex Ooms has a son attending East High. Like many parents, he lived the anxiety of having his son inside a lockdown school with police searching for an active shooter. He also wanted to find out how many other schools are in the district's pat down protocol. Like Denver 7 investigates, the district first told him it doesn't have the information. I think there's a lack of forthrightness on the part of the board and of the superintendent. I don't think they've been transparent about this issue at all. And after first being told by the district they didn't have the numbers, a deeper dive produced these results. During the week of the East High shooting, DPS had 11 different schools with students required to complete a pat down protocol before entering school. Here's the list of four middle schools, Lake, McAuliffe Manual, McAuliffe International, and Kempner Beacon. And here's the list of seven high schools, North, Lincoln, JFK, East, Thomas Jefferson Manual, and Bruce Randolph. And here's the list of schools with the most students on pat down protocol. North High had 12, Lincoln High with six, JFK with six, Thomas Jefferson High with four, and Kempner Beacon Middle School also had four. All of these schools had more students on pat down protocol than East did on the day of the shooting. I love East, it's a wonderful school, it's a great community. I just want to feel safer in my school than I am right now. We also shared the new numbers with East High student Caden Fiala. I don't think that the numbers really matter that much, like spe the specific numbers really matter. I think as long as there's kids on the program, they should be getting help. Two different perspectives on one new group of numbers, one from a student, the other from a dad, both dealing with the aftermath of that shooting back in March. We need to get back to education being education, you. and you start that by really making sure that a public school is a safe place to be. Now, we asked back on Friday for an interview with DPS Superintendent Dr. Alex Marrera. We were told he is not available. Instead, he provided a statement that included, Denver Public Schools is not required to track the numbers of students who are required to receive pat-downs as part of the student's action plan and intervention plan. This philosophy is not new. This long-standing approach has been safely implemented extensively throughout Denver Public Schools for several decades. We also reached out to the president of the school board. Sochi Gaetan told us she is now focused on the district's new safety plan. Shannon. All right, Tony Kowaleski tonight. Thank you, Tony.